This is a glimpse into my life. Wife with Eric. Eric's here. And I'm Kylie. And I'm Eric. Okay, I think we know who you are. Oh. So how are you feeling today? You started the podcast last week like that. I'm feeling great no, today. I don't think that's how I started it last week. But I'm, feeling, we, I'm, feeling, I'm we, feeling great today. That's about time. Yeah. I felt like shit last week. This week I feel great. Okay, last week, half of this past week. Yeah, it took I, I was, it took a half a week. I felt bad all week. There was actually a period of time where you legitimately thought you were sick. Right. Well, my brother <laughs> was telling me this, and he was probably hungover too. He right. was like, "Moral I think of I'm, the story, right? You guys drink too much." Yeah, I got to cut back. I'm getting too old. If I get I a hangover, it's like three, four days, or five days, or right. or all the way a whole week, or a whole week. You also so told me to that you're back. you're not going to drink for like three weeks. Right. I. You also then told me today I'm going to have a wet Woody. Well, that's not like booze, really. That's very boozy. <laughs> <laughs> Those of you who don't know, Wet Woody is this pl- restaurant we're going to tonight to get a uh, birthday party for tonight. Dinner, for dinner. Dinner, and yeah, these wet, they're like, those like Slurpees. But they're very boozy. They're very boozy. I'm, ha- just, I'm only going to get one because oh, i got to swim tomorrow. Okay. But if you notice, my drink here is just soda water. Pure vodka? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't know, would you? I would not. No, but I'm feeling much better, and uh, no regrets. I had such a fun time last week, so that's, that's fine. <laughs> Just you, you know what good thing is about having a hangover pretty much all week? No. Is I watched the Olympics every single day. My favorite thing yesterday. I, I actually got a I actually getting a rub mark and a hole in my chair. I sat there so I much believe this that. week. My favorite thing of yesterday, because normally you like to tell me what you're gonna do every day about three times before that day. Um, so you tell me like I'm gonna go that, that could be false. That's absolutely not false. Right. So you're telling me that you're gonna go to the yard and you're gonna do this and you're gonna move that and you have all these big plans for yesterday, Friday. And I get off work. Well, I know if you leave or not because I get like a garage coat door co- like alert. I'm start tricking you. I'm start opening so, the garage and closing it. I know you didn't leave all day, so I get off work and you're like, I'm like, what? What do you? What do you do? And you're like, well, I've been watching the Olympics. I'm like for four hours, and you're like, yep. I did have an audition. <laughs> that I did in between time there. So yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, the Olympics has been interesting to I say have, the I least. I do love the Olympics. It's been interesting. They had some. Girl boxer, girl who yeah. actually was a man, is a transgender. Or what? I don't. What, she, she has. A, she was born. She a has man. a wiener. She still has a wiener. From what I understand, she has a wiener still. Okay. Okay. I think. <laughs> well, either way. Anyway, she was born with a wiener. She was at least born with a wiener, right. and and they. She trains as a boxer, and she joined him, and, and and she hit the this women's lady. team. Yeah. Yeah. For Algeria or something, she's like yeah. the only athlete. And she hit the other ladies so hard twice. The other lady said, "I quit. I'm out of here. I'm not I know boxing that's this sad. guy." I it was I was under my impression that the Olympics were not going to allow transgender. Right, I thought so, but I think they said they never checked. They just checked the passport and the name. That was it. Oh, I didn't hear that part. Like if you have a woman's name, what if your name is Taylor or something like that? Is it I mean, she probably girl? legally changed her name. I guess so, but I mean, there's got to be more checks than that. Right. Hey, I got the easiest check in the world. Pull down your pants. That's what, what if that's you've the had check. surgery though. Then you then you can fight as a woman. If you if no. you're a man and you get your wiener chopped off, and I still don't agree with you that. can fight as a woman. I think I don't agree with that. If you have gone through pure like all your maturity as a man and then become a woman, you you are at a scientific disadvantage. Yes, you don't have the testosterone, but you have the build of a man. Right, and you, if you see that woman next to everyone else, she is a lot bigger Dominant. and a lot yeah dominant. Um. I mean, that could be bad. Someone could get hurt. I know that's her way that boxer dropped out because she's like, you're going to kill me. Yeah, she got hit twice in the face, and it hit, she goes, I've never been hit that hard in my life. Right, because— And she's a, per- and she's and a boxer. And I get it. She, at the moment, doesn't have the testosterone of a man, but she became was a man at one point. So she yeah. has the build of a man, which yeah. is very different than a build of a woman, no matter what, how much testosterone you have. Yeah, so I, I, whatever whatever side of the aisle you're on, I think, I'm on this on one, I, I think whatever side of the aisle you're on— you know, let's just call it Democratic or Republican or Independent, yeah. or whatever. You you agree that that's kind of not fair. I agree. well, and I even look at like Caitlyn Jenner is like that. Is like no, yeah, she says that a man and women like I as as a man that became a woman, I don't think it's fair for me to compete in a woman's sport because I would dominate them just because I was a man once and I have the build of a man. Well, at there's the a end good the day. there's a good thing he plays he she whatever um, she, plays a lot of golf. She does not, and yes. she's like. And she, she out golfs kill, women. Out golfs the women, yeah. Even though she doesn't have testosterone of a man, right. she, she has the has... muscles and the build of a man because yeah. she was a man when she hit and maturity. And the swing of a man and yeah. everything else. So, so it's, it's I mean, used to there's, it, so. there's only so much you can, you know, 
Yeah, so they got to figure this thing out in I sports. Know. It's it's or just have your own category. I get it; they want to be like fair, but I almost kind of think there needs to be their own category, which I'm sure is going to be a controversial statement. But I mean, they have the para games. Or it's gonna it's gonna games. like keep. I mean, it's for like a safety thing and a fairness thing. There's going to be a controversy if you start adding transgender people in. Of course, of course, it doesn't make any sense. And again, there's going to be controversy if you add a category mm-hmm. for them. But I mean, I mean, the NCAA already did something because of that. Of um, the Leah um, Thompson. Leah Thompson. They they did something with that and they figured it out. Right. But they'll. I, I'm surprised the Olympics didn't have more testing or more. They test every athlete after every event. I know. And they don't. They can't figure, figure this. That one they out? can't figure this guy out. I, I think he just. I, I think he just slipped. I think she just slipped through the cracks. Right. Something so slipped speak, through the cracks. Yeah. <laughs> Something's going on. But anyway, so the poor Italian woman dropped out. I don't blame I mean, and I'd be pissed as well. Am I weird that I didn't even know they had women's boxing? In I knew the they Olympics? had women's boxing. I mean, I, th- I knew they had boxing. I never really thought about women's. women's boxing. I guess they do. Yes, they do. I mean, they got break dancing, so what the hell? Right. I've not seen any of that, and I don't think How many sports do you it. think they have in the Olympics? We already went over this. Well, how many? 32. 30. 32. I guess, oh, I guess 32. I thought... In my head, there's like 100. No. But it's 32 sports. But then sports. there's men's and women's. Right, men's and women's. So I there's like 64. Still seem like there's more than that because they have no. archery. They have, they have canoeing. But there's also like within each sport, different categories. Right. Like look at swimming is one sport, but it has like 25 oh, categories. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And even archery has single, double. Yeah, teams. teams. So there's, there's, okay. there's probably hundreds of events. Right. But only 32 Two categories. Two sports. Yeah. Two sports. Okay. That's... That's good, I guess. They have rock climbing in the Olympics. They do now, yeah. yeah. That's That's been around for a little bit. What um, I always find funny is during the Olympics, everyone, which we were saying the women's gymnastics is like the most popular sport for people to watch, even athletes. Yeah. Olympic athletes. Yeah, I agree. And you're like, I don't get it. No, I don't. I, I think I'm, I feel real smart because I thought of this. And you're like, I don't understand why everyone loves watching this. And I'm like, because any, basically any other Olympic sport, you can kind of go out and like kind of try it. You're not going to yeah, be like good at it. You can take a basketball and shoot it in the hoop. Right. You can go, you can like, row a, a canoe. You, you can know, dive you in can a pool swim. and swim across the thing. Right. You, you can, can run. You, you can, can try run. stuff. You're not going to be good at it, but you can try it. Gymnastics, you can't try unless you, like, did it as a kid. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's yeah. no way. So it's, like, uh, like amazing because even these, like, amazing athletes still can't do gymnastics. Yeah, there's another sport that you, can, you can't try, I don't think. What? Pole vaulting. Oh, shit. That's a good I mean, one, too. That's one. You don't just pick up a pole and try no, it. You're, right. you're fucking dust. You need I mean, Yes. And River. Training. River was a great pole vaulter. Yeah. And, and we knew how much work that is. Yes. And it's kind of crazy. But um, um, what's another sport that you can't just do? You can canoe. And right. You, you might not be good. You're probably oh, not. Oh, yeah. You're probably going to be good at it. You can suck, like, but go do it and be like, yeah. oh, I did it. I tried it. Yeah. I mean, swimming, you probably can't do all the strokes. I mean, I sure to be, can. I mean, but... <laughs> right. I know. But, uh, but I'm like, I'm like, oh, if I like, you know, yeah, ping put pong, in, put in like a day, pong. I could probably you like can pay tennis. You can yeah. do every, all, every, every sport. Yeah. Volleyball. You got yeah. it. But gymnastics running and doing like a vault. Come running on. at a stationary <laughs> object at full speed. <laughs> yeah. You can't do. No way. Can you imagine they just get an amateur to run and jump on the vault? What would happen? I'd probably break every bone on my body. Could you? Here's the thing, because they kind of like tra- teach you this when you're like learning gymnastics. You like run because you there's springboard you jump off. Yeah, of. you run full and you, you kind of do a you, cartwheel on. Well, it you or can something. do when you're learning. You kind of just jump first, right, off your feet. Oh, okay, so I could jump from that thing onto the vault. Right. So usually you learn to jump on and then your hands and then yeah, got it. And you go that way. Like, could you even like jump off the springboard onto the vault with my feet, yes. feet to feet? Yes. I mean, I could try. I probably okay. miss. I probably hit my shins and be <laughs> fucked. You know. <laughs> The visual of that's amazing. I could never do a flip. If I tried to do a flip. You also learn how to do it into like a, a foam pit. Yeah. There's one thing I can do that what? would amaze you. And I think you've seen me do this. I can do a backflip on the trampoline. I haven't seen you in a very long time. I mean, but right I'm now, sure. I probably break can my I back do it? Can I, I still do a backflip on a trampoline? You used to be able to do all those handsprings. And, I know. And I think like I like that. break my back now because I'm so like not flexible. Right. A um, couple of things. One of the coolest things about the Olympics and the funnest things, I think, is that one? There's so many celebrities there, but yeah. but Snoop Dogg is pretty funny. He's a hoot. He's making the news everywhere, and he goes to like he he's, he's legitimately like a fan. Yeah, I actually saw a thing today on the internet that he went to like the some equestrian event, right? Did and he, he had up? he had like a hat, one of their little helmets yeah. on. He dresses and, like, up like yeah. every sport. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, 
I, I know mean, the fans, he's having a time. Yeah, the fans love it. The athletes love it. Yeah. Did you see Simone Biles and all, they're all dancing yes, when he's in the when stands? Yeah, he's just and, dancing in the stands. Yeah, and he's sitting with uh, he was sitting with Caleb Dressel's wife oh. with the baby. Oh. And they're jumping all around and the little baby <laughs> with the headsets on and everything. I wonder how he picks who he's gonna sit next to. I'm sure they tell him at NBC, or they just they, or they like find like whoever like yeah they say so like in the gymnastics he sat next to um, Simone Biles. Jo- no, he sat next Suni to Lee. Jordan Jordan oh, what's her name's parents. Oh, he did. Yeah, and Simone Biles, I think. Maybe he didn't. I no, know. I think he, I think he was yeah. with Jordan. Yeah, maybe they just pick, name. pick out where, or maybe he just chooses himself. Who knows? He might maybe. say, "I'm gonna." Yeah, I like the one when he's in Phelps with the pool. I know. I reminded that for you because you like walked away, and I was like, "Did you watch this early?" Yeah, but he no? had his swim cap and his big old his like, hair, dread bun. It was so big in the in the cap. It was like, how did they even stretch the cap? Like they that? did. That was pretty. That probably funny. took a while. Yeah, I was just loving because he's like, I can be a swimmer. Up. I got the body of a swimmer, which yeah. like actually you do. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's he, he's standing next to Phelps. They're like the, They're like same, the same height, and he's like, I got the same body. Like, like I got lung skinny. capacity. Yeah, <laughs> that dude does not have any lung capacity. No, he has lung capacity all. from all the weed he smokes. Is what he was oh, saying. Oh, is that what he means? That's <laughs> what he means. Yeah, he's like, I can inhale a lot. Yeah, Phelps smokes his share of weed too. Also, oh, very yeah. yes. He's he's uh he's he probably likes a. He probably likes a Snoop Dogg. I wonder if they smoked a bowl after. Is that a thing anymore? Where people smoke a bowl. You call it a bowl? No, you've never smoked. You've never. You don't know what that is. A bowl, a joint. No, it's like those little like pipes, but the little it has like a bowl in it. Oh, a bowl with a little pipe, and you light the you, light, you light the pot the bowl. on fire. Yeah. Yeah, I've done that before. I think. <laughs> Sure. I mean, I didn't, I didn't want to call you out for that. But. I think I've done that at a concert or something before, oh. yeah. I, I'm not I don't think that's smoker. a thing anymore, though. I don't think, like, you smoke a bowl. Well, now they just vape or they Right, I don't think it's whatever. a bowl anymore. Yeah, I'm sure Snoop Dogg smokes a bowl. He might like smoke a bowl. Or he has, what are those, the big ones? A bong. A bong, a giant bong. But, um... <laughs> you know who's going to smoke a bowl after the Olympics? And she should. I know. Is sm- I mean, it's not going to stun her growth any. Simone does we just your growth? I mean, it might. I don't think it does. Oh, no. Obviously, it's Snoop Dogg. Well, he's probably smoked later in life, so he's I already I doubt tall. it. I bet he started when he was a <laughs> teenager. I saw a picture of Simone Biles today, her and her husband. Oh, Nora locked herself and, out. And um, they were in their kitchen at their house. She's a peanut. He's way, I mean, he's, he's definitely over. Like six he's probably 6'2", yeah. probably, I'm at guessing. At least to 6'2", is my she guess. She looks so small. I saw her in a picture dressed up in high heels. She looked okay. Like she, had, she probably had four-inch heels, heels on, had, too, so she was like five foot. Yeah, right. She was five foot or whatever, but uh, I saw a picture, and I was like, wow. I know. You ever seen that picture with her and Shaq? Wait, or her and yes. LeBron? Yes. It, it's all over the, It's all over the internet. They but look also, so big when they're, like, on the beam, and then you see them in her life, and you're like, oh, you're just a baby. I know, you're tiny. And you're like, look at those long legs. I'm like, those are not long She has legs. this great little body. Like, her chest sticks out and her butt sticks out. And it's all, like, a real curve in her back. And she walks around with her shoulders. Is it because she has so much muscles? Uh, yes. And she's like, well, I mean, some of that is just kind of her body type. But she's got a lot of muscles. Yeah. Then they showed her when she was a little kid. It's the cutest little thing you ever. She was I mean, really she's cute. A peanut. Just flipping little, and yeah. diving around and doing all this stuff. It was hilarious. But um, I, have to, I have to say, out of all the Olympics, or all the sports and all the people in the Olympics, I, I guess I do enjoy watching her the most. That's so, why she's the she's biggest. So spectacular. That's why she's the biggest star because the average guy wants to watch her. Well, she's girl, just amazing you know. to watch too. Like I never seen poof. anything like that. Right. I was like, and then you know, I, men's gymnastics is on a little bit today. Yeah. It's just boring to me. I know. Especially, in my opinion, especially the floor exercises is boring. Because there's events. no music. They just are like and real sterile it's and kind like of militant. And yeah, just militant's like, a great word. Yeah, thank you. I, one, that's I have like no idea where that I lyricist that right, over right, here. Right, yeah, linguist, they call me. That's oh, yeah, another lyricist good is lyrics. <laughs> yeah, linguist. You're gay. Who's getting smarter over here? What are you doing on your when I'm at work? I'm like a genius because I stopped drinking <laughs> <Yeah>. this week. <laughs> Look at how well your brain is functioning. Right, man. Give me some more soda water. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, Simone Biles. I, I could just watch her all day. I think everyone could. I, I, but besides doing the gymnastics, I could just watch her. She she's is really interesting. She is, and she's she got like a great smile. She's got. And like, I feel like she's weird looking, talking you know? more about her story now. Yeah, like her life stories and stuff. So it's it's really interesting. Yeah. And she's obviously like a mature woman. She's twenty seven. So she's yeah. It's just not like a dumb like oh this is my life huh. It's like she's interesting to listen to now. Yeah, I think um, she's got a huge career ahead of her outside gymnastics. Right, huge, yeah. I don't huge. know what she's going to do. I don't but know what something. she's going to do, but yeah. she's going to do something big, I would think. I'm sure there's um, a book of coming. Well, I mean, there's a book of coming. And then, um, I mean, just because of the mental health, like, um, I thought this was great. Some swimmer 
or I don't know if it's a swimmer, actually. Somebody stopped Phelps in the USA area where they all are, mm-hmm. and hit, Phelps' his wife was here, and I told you about this. Yes, you did. <laughs> the kid did not know what to say to Phelps, so. I mean, what I wouldn't know what to say to Phelps right. either. Right, and so it's Phelps' wife and his, and his kid, right, sitting there, and he's like, hey, Michael. What do, you do for, what do you do for work? <laughs> that's a pretty, I mean, I, that's a good I wonder question. that. What do you do for work? No, and he's like, huh? Like, he's, he's like, like, well, I used to do all this stuff, but now I'm just a dad, and I do. I talk about mental health. And the guy's like, oh, okay, cool. And he's like, all right, nice meeting you. And then he's like, hey, what kind of car do you drive? He's thinking of questions. Just what so kind of car do you, to What him? kind of car do you drive? And Michael Phelps is like, well, I drive a Range Rover. And he's like, oh, cool. And then he's like to the wife. What kind of car is your wife driver to? <laughs> Phelps? What kind of, and Phelps like, oh, my wife drives a, uh, Escal- a V a Escalade V or something like it's called. And I'm assuming it's electric. I Escalade. believe that's the electric version. And he was like, it's the awesomest car. I love driving that one. Mel, just, do you hear that? Just, yeah, yeah. There you go, Mel. That's your next one, electric Escalade. Yeah, tell Mark he did yeah. an upgrade. But Phelps has four kids. Mel and Mark only have three. Oh, Mel will adopt a kid. Yeah, adopt one. <laughs> adopt a little Simone Biles. Oh, ooh. Now, Simone Biles' kid. So she has a kid with this professional football player. If she did, you mean? Because she does it right now. She might be the cutest pregnant woman you'll ever see in your life. Those little, they get so big. What if she has a kid that's like twelve pounds? No, that's like Sean Johnson is like the same as her. Remember her from like yeah, four Olympics or something? Yeah, yeah, little yeah. one, yeah. little baby. And she has a big. She's kid. She's married to a hockey player, I think, uh-huh. who's big. Yeah. And so her stomach would just be massive. massive. <laughs> that's probably a C-section waiting to happen. I don't know if she had a C-section or not. Probably though, but yeah. And her kids are like huge. Yeah, I'm sure. I'll be. I'll, I'll be willing to bet Simone Biles. Simone Biles is pregnant in the next couple of years. Right I mean, now, probably, I mean, there's yeah. a good chance he can't even get pregnant. A lot of these athletes like lose their they, period and stuff. Right, because they they're they're burning so much yeah. fat and stuff I mean, that they can't like they're. Yeah. I'm not sure about the gymnast, but um, gymnasts they work out so much. They work eight usually. Hours a gymnasts day. don't even get their like professional gymnasts don't get their period till they're in their twenties. Their oh. first period. Oh, okay. Because yeah. um, when I was swimming, um, we, I swam a senior group, you know, whatever, but we used to go to big meets and stuff, and all the girls on our team wouldn't get periods because you work, yeah. you're working out like six so your hours body a day. Can't, yeah. And so, yeah, that's interesting. So so I'll be, I'll be willing to bet that that uh, Simone Biles in a few years or whatever, at least. It might in, take yeah, her, but yeah, well, yeah, she's got to tone her training down. Pregnant. What if she has this little tiny baby, though? I don't think so. What if she has a little tiny baby? But it's funny because, like, her siblings and stuff aren't small. No, they're not small like her. But she just might, maybe because she got so good at gymnastics, she kind of stunted her growth a little. Now, do you think, and this is stretching, her mom kind of gave her up. Was her mom on drugs or yes, alcohol yes, or yes, something? Yes. So maybe that stunted her. Maybe that made her so tiny. and gave her. I mean. She she excelled from it. Look at they right. put, her in, they put her in a great the kid position. Because yeah, the kid's like, so short. What are we gonna do with her? Put her in gymnastics been at like the, the Olympics, and she's not small. Right, like her. Yeah, I was I was I was looking at the whole family there. The grandma's kind of small though. But it's not her. Her there's no blood relative there. The grandma's not a blood relative. Uh-uh. Is the grandpa? Yeah, the grandpa is. The grandpa is so that's her step grandma basically. Yes, so technically oh. yes, but she calls them her parents. Yeah, her parents. Yeah. yeah, but she's not blood related to her mom. Where's her mom at? We, no one knows. Jail? Or dead? Know. Yeah. Who knows? No yeah. one even knows. No one, I mean, How could these might, days nobody they might, knows? But they probably know, but right. us and the media don't know. Yeah. But I think um, last Olympics when she dropped out with, I mean, she, I know she did with her mental health or whatever. That's a real thing. Oh, for sure. Because Phelps had it, but Phelps had it between Olympics. Is, right. And, you know, he went off the deep There's, end. Wouldn't you say like Caleb Dressel had it too? Caleb Dressel had a mental breakdown which, yesterday. I mean, th- yesterday. Yeah, think about. But he had it before the Olympics. Yeah. He took a year off swimming. These athletes have these tremendous pressure on them. One. Yeah. Put, to perform. Yeah, just themselves, their coaches, their parents. Everything's on the the world's watching them. Yeah, and even though that you know, and if what you can have, really mess you up is working out that much and then strict diets right. all the time. You never eat pizza. You have a you never, very very routine regimen in life, uh-huh. and like you know, if you're, we all have demons, whatever they may be, we all have them. But I think when when you're struggling. With what you're doing, that's when the demons come well, out. Well, and then S- Simone's happened in the midst of COVID. I think find one person that didn't struggle through COVID. Yeah. You know, if especially if you're like this this elite gymnast that usually goes mask. to the gym, but you, you still have training buddies, so you kind of have a commodity. Now, all of a sudden, you're by yourself, and you're in yeah. your coach, and it's not as fun anymore. Yeah. You know? Yeah, a lot of things happen And so, that. you we, you know, when you stop talking to people like we all did every day, you kind of, you're like, oh, yeah. I mean, I just talked to you. I was depressed. Yeah. I'm just, yeah, just joking. <laughs> I'm still depressed. 
Just joking, honey. But we yeah, actually I can enjoyed see COVID. We when you're kind of overworked, and then not, then you're on a diet, and then you don't, you know, you're just you're just in the grind. That can really take a strain on you mentally. And then if right. you don't perform, think about when you get you used to get stressed at work. You were mean to me. We were talking about that yesterday. I know. I'd be snap- now. I'm great. Great. You know? Pillar of health over here. Right. Pillar of mental health, not physical health. <laughs> right. But Love yeah, you. yeah. But <laughs> thanks, babe. But yeah, I I agree. These athletes. I mean, I, I think I think um, now they're a lot of athletes. They're big and strong. They don't want to come out and say. They don't want to come out and say they're struggling. I Simone think it's because she was afraid what people thought. I think thought it's a, getting a little bit more acceptable. Yeah. Uh huh. And actually, when these Phelps big athletes brought, Phelps come, brought that out, right? When which these is good. like other, you know. Uh-huh. I think she didn't want to, and then she was forced to, and then now it's kind of been like, oh. And people are respect her for that. I do. Yeah, I do. I, I think do. It's a, I think it's a great thing, and I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know why there's bashing of her. Well, there's always been the bashing of mental health for some reason. I don't know why. You're considered like weak, and well, that's my phone in my pocket. Oh, it's your phone. <laughs> I thought it was crickets. I don't even know what that is. I I'm just happy you brought your phone to the podcast I did. today. Let's just turn happy. that guy off. Yeah, but uh, anyway. Um, Mental health and I think mental I mean, health and everything. I mean, from the guy that goes to therapists now. Right? Yeah, yeah. I'm a professional. You're a pillar of mental health. Right. I guess so. Although you haven't been doing your homework, you tell me. Right. I know. From the guy that tells me, "Give me a task and I'll do it." You're talking to the guy that sits behind a microphone and talks all the time. It's not hard for me to go <laughs> all to the therapy. Time. You it's do not hard for me to go to therapy. I, I just sit there and bullshit. But I don't know if I get deep enough to where it's I need to be. Probably not. You got to get. Dig she doesn't deep. dig too deep well she doesn't want to push you away so she's waiting for you to get there she doesn't know why i'm really there right she's waiting for you to get that all the shallowness is coming yep, out like she's gotta, all she's, the you're, you're an onion so she's, oh, she's peeling she's my peeling onions. layers right mm-hmm. the funniest thing is i gave her a card I know, to the you told podcast. me this and i was like why would you do that i told her i do a push because you do i go yeah you want to listen to it she goes um i guess and so i go hey here's a card and I said, if I, I told her, I said, have you listened? <laughs> if you like me or not, can you raise the five or subscribe? She's like, and she's no. like, I can't subscribe because I'm your therapist. Correct. And I go, are you going to listen? She goes, yeah, yeah. But Probably I think, just, she, do, you think, do you think she really listen or she not? She might. Just get like a different side of you. It'd be funny if she listens to this episode. And maybe hear, I don't know what you say about me in there, to hear what I am, my, you know, I, voice is like. I honestly, in my therapy me? sessions, I haven't talked about you yet. How rude. Just joking. No, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't even got there yet, really. I mean, I'll say a little things. My wife, my wife, whatever. But I'm in therapy. She doesn't know I've been married multiple times. Oh, well, she, she doesn't know now. That. Yes, she, if she <laughs> listens to this, she knows that. She should just listen to the podcast from one She didn't ask now. you, like, all that. You're, like, your history at nope, all? Nope. Oh. Nope. I like to do myself, which I'm out of practice because it's been a few years now. You think she would have asked me some kind of history? I like it to do a family tree on, like, our first sesh. Oh, that's good. Myself. Should I ask her that? Should I say, hey, should I do a family tree? That's what I like. Because you learn a lot from a family tree. Because weirdly, when you ask uh-huh. a question like, oh, who's this one? Who's this one? The the client will actually start telling you stuff that you they don't realize they're telling you. Yeah, because I, I said a few things about my mom and dad last time I was in there. And then I saw her light up. She said, let's go back to your dad. You know oh. what I mean? Let's go, or let's go back to your mom. Yeah. It, and I was like, oh, this actually, she got a little excitement about that. And before she she's wasn't making, really. She's, she's yeah. making or some said connections about or whatever goes, you said. Yeah. What, last time you were in, what did you say about Tanner? She, she brought Tanner up yeah. again. And I go, oh, I said this. And then we start talking again like that, you know. Um, so that was kind of interesting. But I, I'm a little more in tune because I talk therapy stuff with you a lot. I know. And I've I'm ruined mental, you for therapy. I'm in the mental health. You know, me and Simone Biles are doing right. this shit. So I call your therapy. Yeah, me and Phelps. You get the inside scoop from yeah. me. I told I, – I, I saw Caleb Dressel crying at the Olympics. I so know. I, bless I, his sweetheart. I, me, I wanted to call in and say, hey, take him – I agree. Let, I mean, it's Get nice. The I think there's a, there's a plus of like we're seeing him, his emotions, his feelings. We're seeing it, but we don't need to sit there for five minutes like, and watch it. Yeah, he was crying like a baby. I think that's too much. Give him some privacy. He was really struggling. I, could, I right. Yeah, we don't bad. need to see all of that. But I think to let yeah. like see and be like this is okay. Yeah, is and good. So but poor guy. He was, his coach is like hugging him and stuff. Which is um, I don't know. If, I think it was his coach. It was a female, but I don't know if that was his coach, his coach or not. And so another. Woman came I think over. That's real. That's nice. Came like, over let me give says, you guys some and says, "Hey, Why you can you go back here? Because they're just filming him. you." Yeah, he was on the TV. Poor literally, guy. I would say three, four minutes of just See, him, and, and they're just commentating. Kind of rude. I mean, it's good television, right? But I mean, it's. Yeah. I think it's good to to show the world like it's okay. He's human. Yeah, he's human. Like this yeah. shit happens, and it's okay to be human. But mm-hmm. like, I don't think we should make 
a huge thing. I mean, you know? the pressure's so big, and it's oh like, oh my god, I can't you know, even he's, imagine. He's there to, you know, then it's in, you know, his very first race, he won that gold medal in the relay. Yeah. And then he pretty much took a shit after that. I mean, I mean, for <laughs> him taking a shit is anybody else would be great. You know, they would love oh that. Oh my god, yes. Him. But, but um, I mean, what is this? Is how many yeah, Olympics is this for him? Third Olympics. His right, expectations right. are high. Well, and he kind of literally just had a baby. Like, he's probably really not honestly there. Right. He's probably like, I kind of want to be with my wife and my baby. Yeah, he's got one more race tomorrow. And he might be like, let me finish this off, and I'm done, and I'm going to go with my family, and it'll be great. Yeah. And hopefully he'll make a career of swimming still or whatever. He's, oh, he's, I'm sure he's, he's the most popular yeah. guy for Speedo, and he's a Oh, yeah, because he's not body. unattractive, yeah, that guy. Yeah, really good-looking guy. He is quite Muscles, good like, upon muscles, And upon he's, like, muscles. tatted up, which is kind of odd in, like, the swimming world. That many tats. Yeah. I mean, you should have seen two Olympics ago, he was tatted up. Not, oh, yeah. not as much as he is right, now, yes. but, you know, still we're like, is this guy for real? Like, right. Is he a who? He's like a, I, he's like a goody good. He's not a hoolim at all. Yeah. I always laugh because it tattoos, used to guy. be a deduction if gymnasts had tattoos and you could see them. Really? Yeah. So all like, past, they all have tattoos now, right? right? All past gymnasts, the, you know, cause Americans will get like the Olympic rings. Oh yeah. They would always put them somewhere where a leotard would hide them. Their hip or something. Or yes, yeah. and now you're start, they're coming out, so they must have like nixed the rule. Everybody who has it, and there's a um um actually Luke will probably get one now. They always get they, the rings. They all get one, yeah. But there's a guy that swims with us. He was on the U.S. water polo team. He swims in the lane next to me, and um a lot faster, by the way, a lot younger <laughs> yeah. too, and a lot more muscles than I got. But he has them on his rib cage. Yeah, a lot of swimmers oh. have them on their rib cage or their wrists. They have them on their wrists yeah. too. Where would you put if you were in the Olympics? Where would you put it? If I and I didn't matter where. No, it doesn't matter where. I mean, a lot of a lot of swimmers have them on their rib cage because they wouldn't do a rib cage because I have to think uh, guy it's swimmers the ones because that the, I already because have. the guys you see the rib cage when they're swimming. Right. I like a wrist maybe or like yeah. a side wrist. Yeah. I was looking at. I think it was Gretchen Walsh or one of the walls. Yeah. They have it. They have it right here. They have a lot of yeah, a lot of wrists. I've noticed. Yeah. Because that might just be a popular place right now too. I mean, there's only. There's only a few places you would put that tattoo. You kind of, well, because you kind of want it to be seen by people and seen and, by you. And still be able to cover it like, up. Like, I don't dig a back tattoo. Not, nothing against you. I have a, just on a piece. My, my tattoo is like a blob of blackness. Yes, it is. I don't dig a back tattoo because I feel like if I'm getting a tattoo, it's for me. And I can't see it on my back. Right. So it's like, why would I what, get it? I, I, I. I have it on my shoulder. I can see it if I look over my shoulder, right. but I always forget I have it. Right. And then one time I was at swimming, I said this before, and they're like, what happened to your shoulder? Are you okay? <laughs> I'm like, what? 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 What's wrong I'm, with I'm your feel, shoulder? I'm feeling my shoulder. I'm like, oh, no, my neck's a little tight, you know, or whatever. And she's like, no, right there, right there. And I go, oh, that's my, oh, that's my son tattoo. And she goes, oh. Would I you ever it was think of getting that removed? Or no, because no, it's on my back. It. Who gives a oh, fuck? Okay. Maybe cover yeah. it up, put Skyler saw. There. Skyler saw this guy at the beach, and she says, Dad, your tattoo, the guy had a tattoo Same on his shoulder. Looking. He goes, your tattoo looks just like that. It looked like the guy had a black blob on well, his shoulder. Well, I think shoulder. your downfall, too, is you're in the sun a lot in the in the summer. You swim outside every chlorine. day. Like, yeah, it's so a weird, not a necessarily chlorine, spot. but it's in this, even when you're swimming, it's just the sun's beating down on it. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. And you don't wear sunblock when you go swimming in the morning. Yeah, I had a different idea when I got this tattoo. So I think it's just been beat up. Yeah, I was just stupid. I, How come you won't get a couple well, tattoo with me? What, like, what do you want? I don't know. A couple? Like yeah. what? Just a joint tattoo. Um, I don't know. Because <laughs> you're you think, afraid that if we get a tattoo, we'll get divorced? Yeah. Do you, no. Why would oh, I, okay. I, I've never had a couple tattoo with I anybody. Know. Yeah, I've had a couple yeah. tattoos talk with to my th- Let me talk to my ter- therapist about that. I'll see if it's a good idea I, or not. I got a tattoo kind of for you. I told you this. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. But it's not like Eric. No. I Rick. did tell you. I did have a dream. I, told, did, I don't think I said on this podcast. I had a dream. I don't know, months ago, that I got a tattoo on my wrist that went down, and it spelled out 10 vertically, so T-E-N. Mm-hmm. But in my dream, which is funny, it, the T was for Tinka, the E was for Eric, and the N was for Nora. <laughs> that was your dream? Yeah. <laughs> At least I made it in there with the dogs. Which then you were like, what the, why? And I was like, well, I Tinka was first, and then you, and then Nora. All right, 10. <laughs> All right. I guess that'd be cool. <laughs> Yeah, that was my dream. Maybe I'll get it one day. <laughs> um, you know who definitely has mental health problems? <laughs> These guys right here. This segment of Life with Eric is brought to you by... 430 National. Great American Storage. America. And Reno Yard. For all your outdoor storage needs. 
So here's a question. Back to yeah. this tattoo. So what oh, if I so came back tattoos? from like a trip with Allie or something or visit with Allie, whatever, and I have like an E tattoo, would you ever get like a K? Yes. I just the letter K. Yes. Oh, okay, great. Just a K. You can yeah. switch that in anything you want. Okay. I can switch it into, I mean, there's a lot of girls named and begin with K. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, where would you get an E at? Honestly, I have thought about this. On your tit? No. <laughs> Why would I get it on my tit? I don't know. Why not? I don't, wouldn't do it like that. Oh, where did you get it? I'd probably get it on my wrist. Oh, on like your wrist. Like right here-ish. Oh, okay. Well, when do you wait till we're married? Like 10 years at least. You're my longest marriage thus far, by the way. Right. For me. I yeah. know I'm not yours. No, we've been together a long time. 14 years. Right. 13 years. Yeah. I, mean, I don't even know how long. But we've married four, so let's let it keep rolling. Let's keep rolling before See, you get some Yeah, ink. before we get the tattoos and get the ink, let's just get it, keep, keep, <laughs> keep it rolling here. <laughs> Um, you want to hear something funny? Yeah. I don't know, like, I and then Sky gave me permission to tell this on the oh, okay. podcast. Do I know this story? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And it's really funny. It's really funny. So, um, Sky was here for a week, yes. and um, she came and she has a job where she dies with sharks, right? In Oahu, if you want right. to go there, oh, one oceans, one ocean, ocean diving, one ocean diving. That's where she works, and you can go there and go dive and book with a dive sh- trip. and book a dive trip and go for sharks. They should give us a sponsor. Talk they to really Ocean should. Ramsey. We will pump them every week. Actually, uh, I saw Scott. She'll never say nothing. She will never. And I don't. I mean, never. I get it. She's new, and I will if I go out there and right. meet, meet this chick. But uh, anyhow, um, um, so she comes out here and she always spends time with her friends. Yes, and so she has a friend from high school that's a stripper. Yes. That works at the men's I club. don't think I do know this story. Okay. Well, You've been like the worst communicator this week, oh, by the okay, way. Okay, good. All this stuff uh, you remember is coming out that, like at breakfast, and I was like, I don't know what you're talking about because Eric didn't tell me. Okay, listen to this then. Then I don't know this story. I okay. just know she went to the strip club. That's yeah, so, all I know. So she has a friend, and they, all through high school they said, this girl, you are gonna, you should just be a stripper. You're going to be a stripper. She was always dancing in front of people, not oh, taking off well. her clothes, but dance. And she's a really good dancer. So Sky says, oh, my friend so-and-so. She said this back in May, yeah. June, when she was here. Is a stripper, and she makes tons of money, and she just bought herself a new Audi and all this stuff. And so um, so Skylar tells me she's going to go watch The Bachelor with her friends. Right. And she calls me, and she goes, guess where I am? I said, where? She goes, I'm at the men's club. Right. And we're eat, we're having sushi and eating. Well, she didn't eat sushi. Cause... No, she, she got, like, mashed potatoes or something. <laughs> but anyway, so – they get to the men's club, and she's like, it's not bad. She's talking to me on the phone. I go, you're calling me from, from the, the strip men's club. Why? They let you call? My, I thought yeah. you were like on our phones. I, I don't know. I guess so. Times of a change. Yeah, since last time yeah, I was at a strip times club. Times of a change. <laughs> and so her friend, they brought a couple boys with them. His friends lap dance. Oh, them, okay, and they're okay. all embarrassed because they know her. Right. You know, and they're watching her dance, and she's she's a really good dancer. There's like hundreds of dollars of bills, and, and this guy's like, these gross guys are all over there. Well, yeah, goes, I mean, that's the care. thing. If so one guy gave people, her a hundred bucks, hey, you know? Hey, right. But anyway, so um, Skylar's sitting there at the table, and um, the waitress comes over to get get their order. Yeah. She's and like, sweetie, can you be in here? <laughs> and yeah, No, she can't, she comes over, and so they're ordering, and Sky always... Um, orders out the kids' menu no matter where we go because she acts like she's 12. There's she no doesn't kids want the big menu horseshoe. at no. men's she, club. No, <laughs> she goes to the men's club, and the waitress comes over, and she goes, uh, do you have a kids' menu? <gasps> In the strip club. <laughs> and the waitress looks at Skylar. I was like, are you kidding me? And she's like, like, honey, we're in a strip club. Yeah, we're in a strip <laughs> club. No kids well, menu. Yeah, how old are you? Are you 12? Right. right. in a strip club. And all our she friends are like, oh, my God. Menu? She goes, I didn't even think about it. I always ask for a kids menu if they have a kids menu because uh, it's cheaper and she doesn't eat this well, much. Well, it's just yet. smaller portions. Yeah. The smaller portions. So. Well, and they usually have the, the style of food she I takes. go, now you know. If you go to a strip joint, don't you ask, ask for a kids, kids menu. menu. Not, I don't think too many people bring their kids there. I don't think kids are allowed there. Right. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> did she give her friend a tip? Um, I don't know what they did with I mean, that. I mean, I'm kids sure don't they have ca- how, Here's what's what's going to happen is the years of cash go by. How are strippers going to make money? What, you Venmo them? Yeah, you Venmo them. Why okay, not? Okay, here's my Venmo scan. scan like I scan my QR. I don't know, and I haven't been in a strip club forever. They might have that. Oh. It sounds right to me because when you go to even a uh, farmer's market and stuff, it says Venmo. It or sounds you see so a, in person. If, I mean. Okay, if you see a band playing, yeah, they have a tip jar true, and they and have a Venmo, Venmo, a Venmo deal to Venmo them. I guarantee you they do that maybe. That's not fun anymore then. Why? Well, like, look at, like, when we were in New York and you gave the guy, like, a $100 bill or something and was like, if you play these, I'll, like, give you more or something. Right. But you can't do that with Venmo. You don't know. Like, or if you tip more, they'll play your songs. Like, you can't do that with Venmo. I mean, you can just tell them I Venmo'd you but this you have to, much. But they have but... to, like, be like, did you? 
Well, no, because you have to pay the money. And or, if it's Venmo, you have to. You know what Sky told to me too? Here's an interesting it. thing. And I, had, like I said, I have been in a strip club forever, but the lap dances are thirty five dollars now. They used to be free, didn't they? No, they used to be like you know they used to be oh. in the old days. They were like ten I and like twenty for a lap dance. Yeah, I guess oh my they god. Did. Yeah. So 30, Sorry. Thirty five dollars. I've never had a lap dance. Ever? I don't think so. Oh, no. Well. That's we got to start. Just been to strip clubs. Never had a lap dance, though. Oh, like where a girl's grinding all on you? you yeah, no, it. I never had that. <laughs> You'd love that. <laughs> well, but, can you uh, afford to go? You might have to get a job to go back to a strip club. Yeah, yeah. It's my saving grace. Right. Go broke. Yeah. If you start getting a job, we'll know why. Yeah, he's working. <laughs> maybe, I just start, maybe I should start working at the strip club. How about that? Oh, DJ. no. DJ. Okay. I could be a DJ at the strip club. What are you going to play? Like Depeche Mode? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some old raggedy stripper comes out <laughs> my age. I had to work at one of the gross strip clubs. Right. Yeah, not the not, not Is there like male a, strip clubs in Reno? No, not male strip oh, clubs. Okay. No, you, I'm not talking strip me stripping. I'm talking about being the DJ at a girls strip club. Oh, okay. I'm not stripping. I'm all lumpy and <laughs> you shit. You shouldn't strip because you can't dance. Who wants a stripper with lumps to all a, over You them? can't strip to the rhythm. And when I saw your, like, um, Thunder Down Under dance to the Bachelorette that you did the other night, it wasn't amazing. No, but, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You tried. I'll when give you an A for wedding, effort. When I was dancing at the wedding, it was amazing. Was it? Yeah. I only took one small video and sent it to Ellie. And she you loved did it. Take, oh, you did take I me. I did take a small video, and Allie loved it. I was listening to last week's podcast. I'm like, oh, no one taped me. And you said, no, I no did. one taped I lo- you. I went did. to text Allie, and I was like, oh, I sent her a video. Yeah, you think she loves it. She probably really does She said, doesn't. I love that man. I went, oh, I wonder if they saw any <laughs> of this at the strip joint. Honey, guess what time it is? Happy hour? Yep, I made your favorite Juicy Tits Vodka cocktail. Fantastic. Thanks, babe. Love you. And I love you. And your Juicy Tits. Go to JuicyTitsVodka.com to get your own bottle of Juicy Tits, where life is the party. If anyone should have Juicy Tits Vodka, it's a strip club. I know. Why don't they carry that? Why don't they ask, ask Lauren? They, they should do. push that if for anybody. Yeah, people will say, okay, I'll have the vodka. I'll have that. I'll have that. I mean, aren't th- she's in like New Jersey or something, isn't yeah. she? Mm-hmm. She should head up the box. I mean, they have. Oh, yeah. She I could. hope she's head up the box. I'll have to ask. Well, that's a good question to ask her when we yeah. have her on. Yeah, write it down. Save well, that. I, for I later. don't think you need that. I think we oh. can figure that out. I mean, it's out. me. I'll forget. Nah, you you might remember that one. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that was Skylar's highlight of her trip. Strip joint. I mean, when you're 22, a strip club is pretty exciting. That's probably your first strip club. Oh, yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. Are there strip clubs in Orange and County? I mean, there's got to be, right? It's I mean, a, I guess. I mean, there's it's different rules and laws and everything. And you know, least, yeah. strip clubs in Florida, like if you go to Orlando, they're they all wear, nude, right? No, well, I mean, some of them are, but listen. If you go to ones in Orlando, or let's just call the strip club Rachel's, because I've been there. Let's call it, yeah, or it's it, called. It's called Rachel's. <laughs> the girls wear Band-Aids, like skin they can't color show Band-Aids nipples. over their nipples. It's like they're, it's like, it's like per county, I think, so has they their t- own. They take off their shirt, and you're but like. But they have nipple what's, covers. What's wrong with your. Because they can't show nipples. <laughs> right. I'm like, what's, that, that's not very fun. Well, you got to do what you got to do. If like you get in a motorboat, like you Like if you go, you go to Band-Aid. San Francisco, it's all nude. Yeah, and you can't drink. Oh, I didn't it, know that. It's all nude, you can't drink. Ah. It was like fish, too. Ew, gross. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, it probably, honestly, it can't smell great. I hope they, like, wipe down those pools in between. Or they go on the stage. <laughs> they go on the stage like that and just spread your legs. Oh. And, you're, and, you're, and your face is literally, like, you know, a foot Meat from curtains. It. Yeah, a foot from it. Oof. A foot from the, the I don't action. know if I'd like that. Yeah. I'm a lady, I guess. You're, you seem excited by this. <laughs> well, it's interesting, but tell you the truth, usually when you go into those places, you're so kind of hammered and stuff. You're you drunk you're, already. Yeah, you don't. Yeah. If you're, you're that drunk face. and you can still smell it, then you really know oh, it's no, really no. Know it's tainted a little bit. Yeah. You feel like a gynecologist. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're, oh, you're right. Pretty much. Yikes. You're an exam. Yikes. But uh, anyway, Sky had a good week and she, <laughs> and she flew home on the plane. And I hope she flew home on the plane. And she took a surfboard and everything was good. <laughs> hey, speaking of planes, I got something. Yes, we what? were talking about this the other day. Mm-hmm. And a good example is your father. Right. Her oh, dad can get on an airplane. You just learned, you just learned what raw dogging yes. on a plane means. I thought raw dogging was a sexual term. Or it normally like that. is. It means oh. you're like fucking something without a condom. Right, or just without lube or whatever. No, right? no, no, you're no. It's usually like without a condom. It's oh, okay. like you're just raw, raw dogging. dogging, raw dogging, like a hot asshole, dog. raw dogging. You okay. sh- I feel like it's more maybe. I think it's like an asshole thing. Yeah, yeah, I think it kind of is too. Right, okay. but that, that, I'm not even talking about that right now. Yeah, you are. I'm, 
I'm talking about your father. They've changed the tune to raw dogging on a plane is like a popular thing now. Yeah. They call it raw dogging. Well, I experienced this first. Kylie's dad right. gets on the plane. And no magazine, no book, no headsets, no nothing. No just nothing. Sits there and stares straight. Right. And I'm like, how do you do that? Well, like, and he's in between all the long flights was in between me and my mom, which right. I also found funny. But wouldn't you even look at a magazine and or something? My mom's reading. Nothing. I'm reading. Right. And he just sits there. And stares. He doesn't talk to anybody. Either stares or falls asleep. Deep meditation, I guess. And so, which and I so was like, he, he's like the original of a raw yeah. dog because that's guy. When we got off forever. the plane, I said, "Hey, I never. I got to hand it to you. I've never seen anybody do nothing on a plane. Right. But I guess it's a thing. And you were telling me that people can sit through a whole flight. I don't think they can. I mean, they do. It's like now it's become like a popular thing. They'll do like a fifteen-hour flight with no food, no drink. No, they don't drink. They don't eat. They just like sit there in their emotions. But Who the then, fuck does but that? It, it's also on those long ass flights unhealthy because they're like getting dehydrated and getting like low blood sugar, all the shit. So there's actually been like <laughs> some issues with it, right? So well, why do you want to? Why do you want to torture yourself like that? I have that? no idea. Yeah, he's stare. I mean, I've caught myself staring, but I always have headsets on or something. Right. He apparently digs it. I asked him like, "Do you want to watch something on my iPad? Do you want to?" Nope. And he was like, "No." I'm like, "Okay." So he's like the original Rob. What's going on in the head of his? What is he thinking oh about? God, I don't know. You know, we both, I was talking to my mom about this, I think this morning. You, we both saw it on the news that it was like people that are anxious get dementia early. Remember that we saw that on the news? Yeah. Their thing? And my dad's like, told my mom this. He said, you need to make me less anxious so you don't get dementia. And my mom's like, you, you need, need to, to make, make me less anxious because you're going to give me dementia because you and your weird ass shit makes me anxious. Mainly she was talking about. My grandmother's home that's sitting there empty. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. By the way, I we were out with all this, uh, um, I can't remember who I was. Oh, with all the acting peeps. Yeah. And they were talking about your grandma's house. Really? And I go, well, that's my wife's grandma's house. Right. Yeah. I'll, I'll yeah, tell why you. Why were they talking about oh, We're not going to talk about we're that. We're talking about off air. Yeah, we'll talk about, we'll talk about that later. But that was. I know. So my mom's like, that gives me anxiety <laughs> and you're going to make me get dementia. Right. So um, I, I don't understand people raw dogging on a plane, but. You I don't know, either. I understand people raw dogging it up the ass. I don't understand people raw dogging <laughs> on the airplane. I can get it for like maybe an hour. Why like, did they give that name? Because it's hardcore. Because it's hardcore kind of. I know. I listened to the Jeff Lewis show who is gay and has been talking about raw dogging for years, meaning sticking it in an ass without a condom. Right. And now so let's he's sit like, on a plane. he's like, what do you mean people are raw dogging on a plane? And then like, <laughs> may I just say to your dad know. tonight? You go, hey Ed, you're a raw dogger, right? Because we heard this now. He's he'll be like, what are you talking there's about? A, there's a thing. He won't even what remotely know what you're talking about. No, but I said, but <laughs> what you did on the plane is has a name for it. It does. You're a raw. Dog. Except for he does have a snack, a lot of snacks. Yeah, well, I mean, you can raw dog hardcore or raw dog right. whatever. Miles core. Right. He does eat. And, he does eat and drink on a plane. <laughs> Uh, last week on the podcast, we got some comments, and you remember when I was talking about swimming in the sewage and what <sighs> happens to the turds, and yeah. then I said, yeah. and then I, I posted <laughs> on social media, I don't know if you saw this or not, that um, my dad used to eat an apple a day, and yes, his turds yes. would float because of that. He told me yeah. that. So, Did someone respond to that? Yes, they oh, respond, no. and they said, it's not the apple, idiot. <laughs> it's too much fat in your diet oh, that wait. makes the turd float. If you have if a really fatty turd, like fat, it floats. It floats. I don't. I still don't believe it. I believe the apple makes it float. But like, yeah. This guy said it's it's it's. Uh, hmm, we'll have to we'll have to research. An experiment. Or you can experiment, I guess. I'll eat I'll eat two apples a day and see if they float. Indeed, change nothing else about your diet. Yeah, I'll just eat an apple and see what happens. Just add apple to your diet and see what happens. Yeah, from the looks of what I've seen you do in the toilet, you need an apple. Why? Because it's everywhere. Oh, no, I'm done with that now. Oh, you're all better now? Yeah, I'm good now. We're, we're yeah. back to normal. Well, maybe you had a, uh, maybe you had a. Uh, I probably needed an apple. Oh. And also on social media, <laughs> oh. got called out on the archery. Oh, yeah. Oh. Because I said it, it, the target was 270 yards oh, away. Oh, what is it? It's 270 feet away. <laughs> That's still fucking long. That's like a football right. I field. I got called out. <laughs> a football field. But, you know, I made a mistake. I messed my yards with it. Hey, at least, you, 70, can own, at least you can yeah, own a mistake. It's 70 meters. That's 210 yards. Wait, it's meters yard, or feet? Feet. It's 70 meters, which is 210 oh, feet. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Not yards. Got it. Because yards are just I a little like, less it's than meters. It's got to be a metric. Yards are just a little US less than meters. US is the only ones that you does not use metric, and we're the dumbest. So anyway, people out there, turd people and archery people, chill out. <laughs> people make mistakes. Eat an apple and use yeah. a calculator. Yeah, eat an <laughs> apple and don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> we're not that smart. Right. 
Um, I have so many things on my list to talk so about today. Many. We could have 18 podcasts. Well, that's fun. But there's one thing I need to share with you. What? Shannon, like a, Shannon Doherty. There's like a small Whoa, I bug. see that. I know. You want me to get that? I kind of do. Okay, talk, Kylie. Shannon Doherty. Okay, we're going to, I mean, I don't know what you have to say about Shannon Doherty, but she did recently pass away, which is sad. I bl- like, oh, I think you got it. I see like a legs hanging, so you got part of it at least. Anywho, she did recently pass away from breast cancer, and she, it, I, it was a rough battle, bless her heart. But right. I don't know what you're going to say about her. No, so she had a funeral. Okay. And they, they had her will, and in her will, she had a list of people who she refused to attend to her oh, funeral. Oh, shit. And two of the names on there was Jenny Garth. Oh, I didn't know Her that. co-star, and Alyssa Milano. Oh, to her other and co-star. She, yeah, and she said, I don't want them to come. I know they'll come, and I don't want them to come and be fake, because I know we, they don't, we, do or we, we all hate each other. Okay. I mean, hey. So she says, I don't want them to come to my I kind of respect that. Can you imagine being named? On, there's a list I of people. I respect that. Because I mean, there was, like, rumors but after, like, she left the end of 2-0, and then after she left Charmed. Apparently, everybody hated her. Or after Alyssa Milano left Most Charmed. Most did not Somebody like Somebody left Charmed. Um, that, yeah, the, there were fights between both of those co-stars. Right. And so. so that's, that was on the list, That was correct. There's a bunch of names on the list, though. Oh. Like, how many people did she I mean, work with that she fun. couldn't stand? Aaron I mean, Spelling? that's fun. Aaron well, Spelling. he's dead. Yeah. She'll see him later, I guess. But I Ooh, thought, I didn't know that. I thought that was interesting, right? Yeah. Who these a list don't attend my Please funeral. Please don't come. I would, you better tell those people early in case they come. I mean, I, you would you would think, like, they're not here. Basically, they're, she's saying, like, they don't want to be here. They're coming for the press. Right. I don't want them there to make money off of me. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Like, you don't want to be here. To, to board it. me. They're you don't actress, care about they're me. They're actresses. They'll shed a fake Yeah, a fake so she's tear. like, I don't want you here just to, for publicity reasons. Right. Be here for me. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Life of the Air Podcast is brought to you by Petrilla Concrete Construction. And we're going to give a shout out to Michael Weems Collection. And Kylie's holding up our decorative pill that he makes. Cool. He's still never did our picture, We'll see him honey. in Palm Springs. He lives like, he, he, he doesn't live. Well, maybe he, oh, he does lives live in there. Palm Springs. He, he doesn't lives live in, in his studio. <laughs> studio. But uh, his studio is on Palm Canyon. Right, right. Drive, which we'll be visiting him yep. soon. Booked and ready. Yep. And if you like this I'm trying podcast. trying to plan my outfits in my head already. Right. That'd be good. That's it. <laughs> if you like this podcast, follow us. Share us with a friend. You just go to Apple Podcasts Spotify. or Spotify, and you, you push copy link, and you send this great podcast to a friend. And it, and it is pretty great because last week I thought we really sucked and I listened Just to you it. Just really sucked. And, yeah. And I, <laughs> I was a lot huskier voice. I mean, I actually sounded better than I sound now. Now I sound like a nasally weirdo. Right, it wasn't bad. Right. But uh, I like to give myself props because last week we got done and you're like, you ran that podcast. I'm like, see, you got skills. Yeah. I Kylie actually guided me through it because right. I was like, not we're paying hurting. attention and Brain I wasn't had working. really no notes at all. And I was just like, blah, blah, blah. And we're, you know, just barely, barely got through it. Oh, so you're you're giving me a little bit of props, so not a lot. Yeah, but you did you did your job. <laughs> you did your job. Why? Thank you. Yep. Anyway, dear, guess what? We got dinner tonight. Yeah, and we do. It it's is time for you to have a cocktail. Last call. No, <laughs> I'm probably not going to have one. Liar. I said just one. I got to swim tomorrow. So who are we going to cheers today? Um, I think we need to cheers to all of our American USA Amer- Olympians. Oh, I thought we were going to cheers to mental health. Oh, we can cheers to one. mental health too because I dig a mental health. Yeah, me everybody and Simone needs, Biles. Everyone needs mental health. Me and Simone Biles and in their Phelps. life. Yeah. Wrestle. Yeah. Cry, baby. <laughs> you cry more in a year than I do. Oh my God, I cry so. If I <laughs> when I used to cry a lot, you know, I didn't want to ever admit it, and I cry. I would I would go to the shower and cry. I would take a shower, and sometimes I sit on the floor of the shower and cry. Oh, that's intense. Imagine that scene. That's an intense moment there. Naked, gross man crying <laughs> on the... the sh- Waltz <laughs> farting in the shower. Because <laughs> you know you did. <laughs> Are you saying I can't sit down without farting? Yes. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> that's the most disgusting scene <laughs> ever. <laughs> Laying down in the shower crying. Laying in fetal position. <laughs> Are you okay in there? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I heard a fart. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Leave me alone. Are you sure? Right. You can't lock me out of the bathroom yeah, now. Yeah, the door's this locked. Bathroom. Yeah, the door's locked. It's fine. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need bleach? That's <laughs> <laughs> bleach. <laughs> Subscribe or follow us on wherever you listen to this podcast or just go to our website at lifewitheric.com. 
dot com. And don't forget to follow us on social media for updates and a s- whoa closer look and a closer look into my life with Eric. <laughs> to all of our listeners out there, remember it's always happy hour here. That's how you know this is live, right? I love you, baby. Love you.